All right, guys, so a quick disclaimer before we actually start the video. When installing your radio, you're going to want to leave the orange cable disconnected. Do not connect the orange cable. That's because this radio allows you to play movies. This orange cable acts as like a safety mechanism so because you technically aren't supposed to be driving while watching a movie. So what's going to happen is when you turn on your headlights, your radio screen will go black. Just make sure when you're connecting all your wires, just leave the orange one disconnected and that's gonna be it guys enjoy the video here we go what is going on youtube it's your boy mr random and if you guys have ever wanted to install an aftermarket radio for your crown victoria i'm willing to bet you anything you've gone on youtube and there are these horrible tutorials on how to install one of these guys but because i care about every single one of my panther platform brothers and sisters today i'm going to be showing you guys the easiest most detailed how to install an aftermarket radio on your crown victoria so everything you are seeing here guys can be purchased at your local AutoZone. you don't have to wait for shipping you just go to your store pick all of these up use the part numbers and it will fit on your crown victoria now this is the radio that i'm going to be using it is a four by seven i mean look at all the features it has it's right around 100 bucks and there is your part number right there you're also going to need a wire adapter there is your part number as well this is going to run you about ten dollars again from autozone and you're going to need some radio disconnect pins uh, these come in a set like this again can be found at autozone and this is a radio that we're going to be installing today guys so without further ado let's get right into the video your first step is you're going to grab your radio disconnect pins and they're going to go in these two holes in your stock radio it's going to go there we go it's going to go in about halfway and i already pulled out my radio but i'm just showing you guys just for instructional purposes we're going to grab the other one. Oh, well, it just locked in so you guys are going to witness this live and in color you're gonna want to wiggle the radio a little bit there we go and it's finally out once your radio is out you're <laughs> well there goes the antenna it literally just unplugs from there and just undo the connector just like that now believe it or not you have just completed the hardest part of removing this radio this can be a bit of a pain in the ass as you guys can see where these little pins lock in right there to the sides it can be a bit of a pain to pull that radio out and now we have our adapter believe me you're gonna want to do this with an adapter it's gonna make your life a lot easier your adapter plugs in directly to your stock radio plug and make sure it's nice and secured and after that what we're gonna do is match every single one of these colors that you guys see with the corresponding colors in the adapter one thing i will point out guys is that this radio it's actually quite a bit of a tight fit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually trim right here i'm going to file this down this little lip this little lip right here guys i'm going to file it down i am actually getting rid of this little lip there's an upper lip and a lower lip right here uh, it's a little crude but what i pretty much did was i used a small saw and i just sawed the bottom part off and i sawed the top half off the top little lip off all the way from corner to corner now that might sound like a lot of work but it beats removing like i said this entire front panel all this ac oh none of that check this out just maybe about 10 minutes worth of sawing those little lips off and we have literally what it looks like dude <laughs> this thing looks freaking perfect already so now that we ensured that our radio actually fits in the hole where it's supposed to go the next step is to like i said earlier wire every cable to its corresponding other cable from the radio to the adapter you're going to want to do this one at a time i'm not going to bore you guys by doing this i'll uh, fast forward to our brand new aftermarket crown victoria radio guys one quick note this is the instruction manual that comes with your new radio as you guys can see everything to the left when you're wiring it these are all the speakers everything to the right is all the wires you're going to need to connect in order for the unit to actually turn on you have to connect every single one except the blue and black which is to the remote control and to the antenna that's if you want to listen to the radio or anything like that if you don't care about listening to the radio because you're going to be using the auxiliary or the bluetooth or your phone or whatever then you can do without connecting the blue and black cables 
All right, guys, and just like that, all the wiring is done. I left uh, the antenna disconnected because I won't be using that, so I kind of closed off that cable, and I closed off the antenna with just some regular duct tape. Duct tape the hell out of it, just in case for whatever reason it makes contact with any kind of metal or anything like that. You don't want your radio catching on fire and then possibly your whole car. So everything is wired up the way it should be. The instructions tell you exactly what wire goes to what. Or just literally just connect every corresponding cable from your adapter to your actual radio. Now the only thing left to do is to plug in our radio. Here we go. Damn. Dude, this thing fits like a glove. <laughs> That's what i'm talking about oh yeah baby touch screen so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to audio right here bam there it is and i've already synced my phone with the new radio so the only thing left to do is to crank the music up and give this a try here we go man yeah man that's right all right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. This bad boy fits like a glove. I'm going to be messing around. Me and the kid over here are going to be messing around with it a little bit more. This is the Kronvig Godfather, a.k.a. the Panther King, signing off. Take it easy.